Researchers at the University of Minnesota have made a major breakthrough that allows people to control a robotic arm using only their minds. It's called an EEG-based brain-computer interface. It's a non-invasive cap that records electrical activity with 64 electrodes and converts your thoughts into action using advanced signal processing and machine learning. Eight people recently tested this cap, and most were able to get a robotic arm to pick up objects in fixed locations. And many could even take those objects from a table and move them up onto a shelf. According to researchers, this is the first time in the world that people have operated a robotic arm to reach and grasp objects in a complex 3D environment using only their thoughts. That means they didn't have an implant. The research could help millions of people who are paralyzed or have neurodegenerative diseases. Nope, they're still my arms. If they're robotic, I could move them, right? And technically, I'm not even thinking I got medicine head. Get that needle away from my walnut! Every year, thousands of men with prostate cancer undergo biopsies to help their doctors understand the progression and nature of their disease. It gives them vital, even life-saving information. Still, cancer researcher John Lewis from the University of Alberta knows that it can be a difficult test to ask of anyone. Lewis describes it vividly, and he says, the best way to get information is through a biopsy, which involves pushing 12 needles through an organ the size of a walnut. Extremely vivid, John! <gasps> Moon River. Whew. Thank you, Doc. Patients with low-grade prostate cancer can decide not to get treatment and instead monitor the disease. But monitoring still involves a biopsy every year or so. Year after year, 12 new needles, same want. So a lot of patients just decide to have the surgery. Well, in a promising new study published in the Journal of Cancer Research, University of Alberta researchers describe how they used focused ultrasound and particles called nano droplets for the enhanced detection of cancer biomarkers in your blood. The technique provides a large amount of genetic material to analyze the aggressiveness of the tumor by drawing just a small amount of blood. The researchers say the technique is as accurate as using needles in a biopsy. And the genetic information could even be used to develop personalized medicine. The plan is to quickly move towards clinical trials and from there, real world applications. 12 needles, one walnut. Get that needle away from my walnut! Researchers at the Harbin Institute of Technology in China have created a multifunctional tactile sensor that uses ferromagnetic microwires to mimic the tiny hairs on human skin. Until now, it's been the biggest missing piece in the electronic skin puzzle. And when I say big, consider that 95% of the human body is covered by these tiny hairs. Well, I mean, for some of us, some of us, they're not so tiny. In a new report in Applied Materials and Interfaces, the researchers show how they created an array of artificial hairs with glass-coated, cobalt-based microwires and embedded them into a fake skin made of silicon rubber. This hairy skin is much more sensitive and can detect anything from a light breeze to a pesky fly. Now, where this development stands to make the biggest impact is in future robotics and prosthetics, where you could feel something like slipping out of your hands and grasp it. I mean, remember the video where the, like, the robot crushes the grape and everyone's like, ah! This time the grape will stay. So now that we can actually control robotic limbs with our minds, we can give them a few plugs and have a better sense of where we are and what we're doing. So tell her next time she wants you to shave, just like, hey, love me for me, all right? This is my her suit in all its glory. And it's yours as much as it's mine. I'm David Manti. This is Engineering by Design.